boy, Yo Boogie, coming through with another video. What's going on, yo? I'm blessing the Lord, highly favored, excited about Jesus, excited about the Word of God. My cup is running over, and I still want some more. How about you? Well, I hope you're having a good day out there today, out there on the road or wherever you may be at. But I wanted to talk to you about my first load as a company driver versus my first load as an owner-operator with Landstar. And I had two similar, uh, I guess you could say, incidents. Well, they weren't incidents. But I guess you could say they was kind of like failures. Not failures, because, you know, I, you know, it's not a failure, it's a learning experience. But I remember when I first started driving trucks, and I was out in, uh, I was driving for Central Refrigeration, and uh, it was out in Salt Lake Valley, uh, Utah, West Salt Lake Valley, Utah, and uh, down the street from uh, CR England. And man, I was out there for three weeks. I had went over there, I, and I had to spend the Christmas there. I went over there. It was like the first, the first week in December that I had went over there. And when I went over there, you know. Uh, I, I really didn't even have any money. I probably had about 50 or 100 of them. But they had to last me like three weeks. And man, uh, I was there, you know, in the central school learning how to drive. So, but anyway, to make a long story short, they had, uh, they didn't have no truck for me when I finished. And so I was like, man, these cats ain't got no truck. They're like, yeah, we're gonna go send you to recover a truck. And I was like, oh, okay. And they were like, well, you, you get paid for it too. So, man, it was a nightmare because uh, I had to ride with somebody. Uh, no, no, let me back up, let me back up, let me back up. Yeah, so first of all, I had to go with a trainer. And so I went with this, with this trainer uh, him and his wife was trained. And so it was, uh, I ain't going to say his name. I went with him. That was the first thing. So when I went with him, it was me and another guy that was on the truck. And so basically, he really didn't even never have to drive. So he had two students on the truck. It was crazy, man. And so I, we stayed on the truck with him for about a week and a half. And then his wife started training. And I went and... Uh, and he, he put me over there with his wife and told me to, you know, he told me to uh, go train with her. So I was with her for like six weeks. And so I didn't get back home till like February, like February 3rd or 4th. It was crazy. I was gone for like two months. And man, I was so ready to come back home. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was with her and she trained me. And uh, and then I had to go back and I had to get my own truck or whatever. So when she dropped me off, uh, when she dropped me off, there was another student that was there waiting on the truck also. And so they sent me to go get a truck in California. And that was my first time ever going to California. I didn't even know it snowed in California. And so, First of all, I had to go, I was down there by LA. Uh, I was down there in Fontana. And um, so when I was down there in Fontana, I stayed there and I was waiting on the guy to get a truck, uh, give me the truck or whatever. Then they said, well, the truck is not here. It's like 10 hours north. So I had to drive, I had to drive with another driver. Uh, I had to get with another driver. So I was with him, and he had to take me up there to go recover, recover the truck. Man, when I got into the truck, uh, when I finally got to the truck, they didn't have no keys to the truck. I mean, it was just kept going like down and down and down and down. It was crazy. So they didn't have no keys in the truck. Man, it was pee bottles in the truck, man. And I was like, man, y'all ain't gonna detail this truck before I get into it. 
and they was like, uh, no, just drive it back. And I was like, well, I got to go to sleep. Where am I sleep at? You know, cause it, you know, I didn't have nothing. I didn't have no covers, no sheets, no blankets, no nothing. Plus, I ain't had no money. And so, they got me a room at the Super 8, at the Super 8 Motel. And man, I was thinking from there, I was like, man, he cat right here, man. That, look, I'm about to just quit, man. This ain't what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, and so, uh, fast forward another day, after I finally got the keys to the truck, they had somebody bring me the keys from Fontana. And so they gave me the keys. And so I started driving the truck. You know, it was Bob Till. So, you know, everything was cool. You know, I'm driving this truck and then we have to go, I forgot what it's called, uh, over one of the mountains. But anyway, it was snowing like crazy. I, that was my first time, well, it wasn't my first time driving in the snow, but driving in the snow by myself. And then we had to go, we had, uh, there was another guy that was with me. And I had to pick him up along the way. And I was like, man, this is like, I don't know what's going on here, but this ain't what I expected. So they was like, we need, uh, if you if you, uh, if you got to cross the mountain, you got to chain up. And I was like, chain up? Like, they ain't, they ain't even teach me how to chain up in school. And so I ain't know what I was doing. I was sitting over there trying to chain up. And I said, you know what, forget this, man. I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna tell them, man, look, you know, we can't, we can't pass. We can't pass the mountain. Uh, and they were like, well, just go buy some chains. And so <laughs> I went, to, went and bought some chains but still didn't know how to put the chains on. And so, uh, and it wasn't no, like, no YouTube or nothing like that. So I could, you know, video and see what to put on. But it, you know, that was crazy, man. And then I finally, after it cleared up, days you didn't have to have no chains and so i finally got back to the hotel i mean i finally was able to cross the mountain and get back into uh salt lake city utah and man but that was the that was the horriblest experience ever that experience right there would have made any man want to quit i mean because man you think you're gonna go out here and learn how to drive then get a truck but you got to go through all this stuff in order to get a truck it was crazy. So that was years ago. So now fast forward to like last year in April when I first started working for Landstar. Man, when I first started working for Landstar, you know, you know, it was cool, you know. And so I had went and got my truck. And so when I went and got my truck, uh they put they put tires on here, but they was like, uh uh, I had to get, I went and got those balancers put on. Those Centromatics. I, I went and got those on. You know what I'm saying? So, after I went and got the balancers on, you know, that was taking for forever. And after it was taking for forever, I was like, you know what, man? I was gonna, uh, I was gonna get a load going to El Pat, no, Laredo. I was gonna get a look, go look, go to uh, to Laredo. They'll pay like thirty five hundred dollars, and I was like, man, this this gravy load, this good load, just to start the day off. I mean, start my time off with last star with right here. This is like off the chain. But then I got down to the place. It was too late, so I had to get another load, and that load went to Laredo too, and that load was paying pretty good. And so on the way to Laredo, my first load. Man, something started happening with the lights on the trailer. And I was like, what's going on with the lights on the trailer? Well, evidently something had came loose in the back of my uh, pigtail. And so I was trying to plug it in there and I was like, man, what is going on with this trailer? And so I had to stop, I had to get that fixed. Then, on the way to Laredo now, I hadn't even went, I hadn't even went 500 miles. I get down to Mobile, and when I get down to Mobile, uh, you know, it, 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 uh, I got out to go take a shower. Man, when I got out to take a shower, I heard this this air leak. And I was like, what is that? And the side of my tire had like a slit.
spit in it. I was like, oh my goodness, man. Don't tell me that I ain't even made no money yet. And so that was the first time I had got a load. And I mean, that was on my first load. And so the tire was split. So I was like, golly. So I had to spend money to get me a tire. And I ain't even made no money. So that's why it's important to have your cash reserve. And so, and I had a little bit of a cash reserve. I think I had like two thousand dollars for it now, you know, which it ain't much. You know, I, I would recommend that you get more. But hey, whatever you got to do to get in the game, go ahead and do. So, I that was that was then. And so then after that, man, I went to a uh, where did I go to? Uh, I started driving. Everything was cool. Everything was cool, man. And I finally got to Texas, man. When I got to Texas, this guy had had a trailer and a trailer bumping up and down so I moved I moved out the way and I was like man this, this dude had stuck pebbles flying off his truck and so one came up and hit my windshield and split it I guess about six inches I was like man and so here it is my first load with Landstar I had to get I got the lights and the pigtail fixed then I had to get the, I had to get another tire. Then, you know, my window cracked. I'm like, man, come on, man, this can't be happening. And then I get down to uh, Laredo, and by this time, man, I'm just like, kind of like down in the dumps. But uh, uh, my uh, while, yeah, while I was down there, I was down in the dumps or whatever, man. Like, man. I should have just stayed at the company I was at, man. Instead of coming over here, cause I'm already having to pay out money, and I and you know circumstances and stuff that try to make you quit, man. You know, but you know you got to be stronger than them circumstances. So I got down to Laredo, and when I got down to Laredo, I uh, I went to sleep, and then I went into the uh, I went into the terminal. I went into the terminal. And it was like April. It, it, was, it was April this time, okay? I went into the terminal and sat there for about two or three hours, came back out. And would you believe that that thing done split all the way, my windshield done cracked from one side to the other side because it was 100 and something degrees and that heat would make that uh, crack like uh, go further across the windshield. I was like, come on. Oh, man, and so, but luckily, I you know, I was uh, somebody had told me, hey man, you know, let's start get that fixed for you. And I was like, what? Yeah, because I, I had Gallagher or whatever, so I had got I got Gallagher insurance, and so the Gall so Gallagher, you know, they'll do a windshield replacement or they'll come and fix the windshield if it needs to be fixed. And so that's what I did. I went and um, got my windshield replaced. But that circumstance right there. That right there would have made anybody want to quit. Because I was like, man, it, like, I ain't even making no money. I'm losing money before I can even make some. But I got my check the first week and I still was in the positive. I was like, dang, all this stuff didn't happen. And I, I think I took two loads. I'm like, man, all this stuff right here doesn't happen. I'm still in the positive. Yeah, owner operator is the way to go. You know, so. Yeah, that, that right there was a crazy experience. So, you know, but the moral of that, and I know it was a little long for that, but the moral of that was, you know, things may happen. Things may come up, you know, to the point where it makes you want to quit trucking. It makes you want to quit your business. It makes you want to quit doing what you're supposed to do. And just keep on trucking, man. Keep on doing what you're supposed to do because, you know, storms don't last forever. I, uh, Whenever, whenever people, whenever there's a storm or whatever, a tornado, I ain't never seen a tornado last uh, a whole day. I ain't never, never seen a tornado last uh, half a day, you know? So, storms, they come, they go, you know, but, you know, you gotta be stronger than those storms. You gotta be, you gotta be able to weather the storm. So, yeah, this your boy signing out, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe uh, to the channel. And, uh, yeah, stay groovy. This is L Boogie. And I'm blessing the Lord how to favor, excited about Jesus, excited about the word.
got my cup of running over that I still want some.